Hello, Bowser my name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where today we have an exciting project. Over the last few episodes, we tried and tried to improve our rail network, and uh, among other things, we got rid of the small factory squares that we had in there and while they are highly modular uh, I noticed that the uh, lengths that we have here uh, between one roundabout and the next one is not long enough so that we can have a chain signal when entering the roundabout and then a normal signal behind it without the ladder train sticking into the roundabout. That's why we switched to double size. And here we basically can have all that. We can have several signals along the line before going into the next one. However, we still have situations um, where we get the uh, occasional congestion and I think what we can do here is take that thing to the next level. We noticed this size highly modular not so good for uh, uh, for rail signaling this setup is is way better uh, but we still get congestion uh, especially um, we see that quite a bit around here uh, where trains want to go in different uh, directions so we worked um, here to get basically some strips of land freed up. We have here one. We have here something similar. Um, we have here a horizontal one. And uh, I think I will overlay an image um, with a picture where we want or where I want to add high-speed rail. Many countries have failed with high-speed rail, so let's see if we can actually succeed. And I think the, the key to that is that we have uh, a setup that works. Um, we do have our normal line that we have anyway. But then I think what we want to have is basically a line that doubles this up. And have crossing from the inner line to the outer line. And let's just copy that down here. Because now when it comes to signaling we want to have this here and here. Oh, no, that's the wrong side. Here. And this also goes to there and there. And then we have Basically this and then 
we have a normal section like this. And we only have then basically switches off to a horizontal or vertical in this case uh, lines from the outer line. So the middle lines, those are basically the high speed through lines. And uh, what we also want to have is roundabouts. And uh, let's see, I do have a rail roundabout here. So this does not really line up with what we have here. So it will be offset anyway. Uh, we actually do not care about the, uh, the ways we go out there nor the signaling here. We only care about the roundabout. Because now we need to connect that up properly. So That's where we go in. So I would assume this is then where we go out, right? And we would have something similar than here on this side and here oh, that's offset that's that's no good to be here and here yeah and it's it's a bit wonky yes it is but so so are these and I am thinking that here from the inner parts we basically go into the roundabout and uh, then uh, connect up but here on the outer lines um, we probably only want to go in that direction and Yeah, we cannot make a clean a connection from this line into the roundabout unless we would make the roundabout even larger. Which might be something we can try because then maybe we come up with a solution that's symmetrical. So let's get rid of uh, this. And have 
basically here would be then the auto middle line and for this to work I would imagine that we need a middle piece like so probably wants to be one further out so that we can then have this like so right and then you can have this and this and we can actually get rid of the, this this middle piece here of track don't need that anymore then here this part And now, we still cannot manage to get that to connect. But what if we start here? No, that will simply not do because that's basically the minimum distance we need to switch from from one lane to the to the next. But what we can have is basically this set up here I mean coming out that probably does not really make too much sense but uh, if we come out of this yeah we will probably want to have one here we don't need one there because we're coming from this side maybe yeah if we come from here if we would not have this one, we would have to switch over on here in order to get around. But maybe that's not that bad of an idea. So let's see this then. And this wants to go the other way around remove all the unnecessary bits and then we have another part here there Here we have another lane going that way. We have one going this way. And this can then here um, 
actually we can probably make the the curve tighter. Yeah. Yes, I think this works. Then we would have signal here again. And let's do this. And let's also add all these kind of wires. Question is, can we take this, rotate it, and rotate it? Then have one in the middle. Combine the wires. At this point, I think we are no longer in need of the of the logistics wire. So we are going in here, and here, and here. And here. Okay, I think that will do as a, as a template. So as previously shown, we want to have one line going through here, one line going through here, and then we will have um, also vertical lines uh, that probably do not uh, connect throughout the whole base, but we can have uh, one here, which will be the main trunk, and we can have one here on this side, maybe going all the way through, uh, and then on this side, we will probably have to split because uh, no need to uh, fill in this this uh, water here on this side. But I think I will make use of uh, this template and uh, uh, put something into place. And as you can see, this takes up almost uh, the full space uh, uh, of the size of our smallest uh, chunk grid. And what we then will will have to do, and I think I, I mentioned that, is if we have these vertical lines going out, or if it's a, a vertical chunk, the horizontal lines going out, we only connect to the outer lane. So on the inner one, we can fast travel long distances until we come to a roundabout and we will not have that many roundabouts in our system. As you can see, I place in some of the high speed rail right here in the middle of our base. But here we have a slight issue because we still have the uh, copper smelting in the way and while i did have this uh, running 
Big Copperfield thrill still has some 300,000 copper ore left. So that will still take a while until it is mined out. I even went ahead and uh, added some uh, speed modules to get that done uh, faster. But I don't want you to wait that long for this episode until that happens because that could actually be a few uh, days in real life. However, overall, I think we did pretty good. We have here uh, the main rectangle here, this part, that's the only piece missing down here we often get uh, congested um, and this is a bit of uh, an issue because uh, at this roundabout we have a lot of trains that coming from the north want to go to the south to basically this uh, waiting bay and coming out of this waiting bay they again have to uh, go to the north. So here the, the bridges in Factorio uh, 2.0, they would come in real handy because then we could basically have somewhere something where we just bridge here over the high speed line. And down here we also have a uh, 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 high speed rail going around. And the thing that hampered the progress a bit was not uh, missing rails this time, but as you, as you can see out here, we needed quite a bit of landfill to place our rails on it. And there are some places where the roundabout is not a complete roundabout, but has some uh, exits missing. So that means we have to have a way to bring in the outer line into the roundabout because, of course, uh, in a fully fledged roundabout, the outer line does basically neglect the, the roundabout and just goes to the left. Yeah, it's to the left. That's, that's how we drive here. And overall, I see this works way better. I have uh, three iron trains uh, sitting up here because they basically blocked uh, the stations here because all our uh, iron delivery stations did not need iron. So now we would have one here one here uh, and for the sticks we are we're still good but it was just not enough demand of these iron products uh, to get any product and with that in the way uh, the other trains the iron trains that we need for the green um, circuits could also not load so that then also meant we did not produce any green circuits that would also consume the uh, copper wire um, meaning the whole uh, copper consumption was also hampered and that's basically what we want to have going so i think it will take still quite a while uh, until we manage to finish that but uh, even at this point we are better off than at the start of this episode and next time we can really think about putting in new things and once again expand without overwhelming our train network because i think um, we are in a situation where we can add more trains to it and maybe we have to think uh, where we want to place the waiting base uh, and, uh, and the factories so we uh, 
can minimize crossing over uh, the main line a bit more. But that's all for the future. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, also join me next time for more Beltless Factory. Until then, goodbye!